There's the giant golf ball. Good morning, Miss Emma. Where are we? We're at Epcot. Are you excited for today? Yeah. <laughs> what are you most excited for? What ride are we going to do? Remy's. Remy. Oh, you love Remy's. Oh, what else are we going to do? You're going to do test track, I think. Test We're going to try to do test track first thing this morning. Emma's first time doing test track. So that's be exciting. You happy to be here? Mm -hmm. What you wearing today, Emma? Wearing your stitch, stitch shirt. Yes. And you got your mini Nuimo. She's a happy girl. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Let's go. Hi, Mr. Henry. Hi. What are you excited about today? Test track. Test track? Are you going to design the coolest car ever? Yeah. And also, this is my second time. Second time riding test track. And you're tall enough. You're tall enough to do a lot of rides today. Are you very oh, yeah. excited? Yes. Yep. And who do you have with you today? Orange Bird. Mr. Orange Bird. Is Orange Bird excited to have a, a fantastic day? Yeah. Yep. You know what they have here today? What? They have Orange Bird smoothies. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have to get an Orange Bird smoothie sometime today. What do you think and, about that? And you have to share with him. And have to share with him. <laughs> Sounds good. <And> Minnie. <laughs> made it to Epcot. Rise, you enter the park. Flower and Garden, they have this Encanto topiary. The kids noticed this right away. They thought it was really cool. This might be might be a favorite one that they've done for us. It's really cool. On the way to World Showcase, Mickey and Minnie and Donald. And she's doing some repair works on Donald. Always keeping it looking nice. What do you say, Emma? Lanking. Okay, for the first try of the day is gonna be Soren. Excited, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Just made it here for early park entry. The test track wasn't running yet, so that's okay. This is one of our favorites, isn't it, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. It's super fun. And Henry's super excited. He just wants to run in there. Henry, what are we gonna do now? The boat ride. The boat ride. Yep, the floor ends right next door, so we always hop right over there. It's one of Henry's other favorites. There it is. What's nice is it's pretty much always a walk on. Got right on the ride. at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects, the need to. If you eat that, you turn into a dragon. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. And some, like the water lake, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are The structure of the plant has long been used to make flower elevation. Making it to make it popular fruit in the world. Five-minute wait. Oh, <laughs> 
Inside of Bruce the shark's head into his teeth. Here they are. <gasps> There's Henry. Oh my goodness. Are you in Bruce the shark? Orange bird. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Say cheese. Look at here. Cheese. Oh. oh. It's our fourth ride of the day, Spaceship Earth. It's about 10 o'clock and it has about a 25 minute wait. So a lot busier than we usually see it. Hi. Excited? What are we done? We're riding Spaceship Earth. Yeah, it's the classic. You gotta do Spaceship Earth. It was a little bit longer of a line today, but it still wasn't too bad. I think we were on like 20 minutes. Here we go. Wow. interested in. We have work, home, health, or leisure. Leisure? That's having fun. What sounds like more fun? Under the sea or outer space? Under the sea. Okay. What kind of person are you? Do you like to plan or you like to wing it? Plan. Plan or planners. Yes. What do you like more? The journey or the destination? Destination. All right. What would you like to live in the future in the city or the country? City. On vacation, what do you worry about most? Your pet or your house? Our house, <laughs> I guess. Where do you want to travel in the future? Wind power or solar power? Sun or wind? Sun, okay. Sun. Ultra powerful, totally networked family car that can take you anywhere. 
Spaceship Earth, Emma? Yeah. What do we have to do? Yeah. Remember? Thank a Phoenician. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going now? Pub Cool. Pub Cool. Get some refreshments. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. We need refreshments out for that hot thing. Yep. That tastes like. All right. Grandpa's trying every flavor. Oh, no. All the flavors. That's going to be bad. All right. Good? You good? I guess so. Emma, which one's your favorite? The Madagascar. Try the watermelon. Which one's your favorite? I love the bonbonic lace. But you both delicious. like the one from Madagascar. Yeah, it's good. I don't know. I kind of like that. The... That one's it's kind of tart. It's hard, right? Madagascar. I think my second favorite is the Sprite. The Sprite from Russia. Yeah, I like the apple lychee. It's more like a juice. It's good. Yeah. All of them are good except for the Beverly and the, the Thai one. I'm gonna try the Beverly. I actually. All right. Well, the grandma's duck dad ready. She got yeah, her she's earrings ready. and her New she's Year's. Disney fight. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Way around the world showcase now. The big old goofy right at the beginning. Really cool. From, oh, the from the oh, from the citrus blossom booth, we got the this is the sipper. It's an orange smoothie for the kids, and that you can get that in the orange bird sipper or without. Just a cup. And these are the tempura shrimp with an orange marmalade glaze, and then we got I got the citrus cream ale. From the Mexico booth, the Jardín de Fiestas, we got two of the margaritas. So this is the Mala Herbera margarita. <laughs> This comes with Centilla Tequila Rosposado, Elderflower Chamomile Tea, Abasolo Corn Whiskey, and a flower infused vodka with a chili salt rim. This one is the Cristal Margarita. So it looks, looks like water. <laughs> Agave Tequila Blanco, a Miss Calvin, a clarified lemon juice, and an orange liqueur. And then Dave also got, this is the Taco Vampiro. This is barbacoa beef taco in a corn tortilla with Monterey Jack cheese, salsa, and esquites, corn. What do you think? Mm. Wow. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Tempura first. shrimp with a nice orange glaze on it. That sounds, sounds good. Mm. Trying the, the tempura shrimp. That's really delicious. It's got some nice like orange kind of marmalade sauce on the outside. Got a little bit of hinges. A little bit of spice, like a chili, chili spice, but really not too spicy. It's really good. Nice, crunchy. Good piece of shrimp you can see on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. What are you thinking of that orange bird smoothie? It's really good. Is it delicious? Is it yeah. creamy and orange? Yeah. Just it's so refreshing. And orange, but it doesn't have any cream. Yeah. Is it and so it's good? Really good? Yes. It has a really beady, beady ices inside. Little tiny ices so it's nice and frozen. Yeah. It's nice and cold. Yeah. Good. All right, Dave. Margarita number one. This one's got the chili rim. The chili salt rim. Mm, yeah. Gives a little kick inside. <laughs> it's good. It's... Mm. That one's got whiskey in it, too. Yeah, it's a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of flavors in there. You can definitely tell it has alcohol. I enjoy it, but this may not be for everybody. It's good. <laughs> This other one really comes in a pretty cup. I like this. Yeah. The Hardin Fiestas booth. That's a that's a cute cup. I want to keep that. Clear liquor. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's got mezcal in it. <laughs> Smoky. Smoky. Pretty good. I don't. I don't know if you'll enjoy this. 
if you don't mm -hmm. like kind of that smokier flavor. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. There's one I know that they You had, like it though. They had one before that was way too much. Mm -hmm. This is more, more subtle. More subtle. That's they, good. They blend it down. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't like that by itself, but mm -hmm. blend it with this. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. You need to show us your shirt, Dave. Now we've checked off Mexico. <laughs> Where's Mexico? <laughs> oh, Mexico missed the mark on the check mark list. <laughs> oh. so the, this you started drinking around the world. <laughs> yeah, this person started the other side. <laughs> they started in the Canada. <laughs> Emma's gonna try this smoothie too. It's really good. It tastes kind of like an orange Julius. Ah, yeah. 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 Makes sense. Remember, this was a hit with the kids. This one we had mm -hmm. the last couple of years. Like they've, mm -hmm. they've kept it. Yep. And you can get it without the sipper. Yeah. There's um, a lot of orange. Yeah. yeah. And they requested Very, it. Yes. I'm gonna try the taco. Mm -hmm. This one's got it like a nice like sheet of cheese, like melty cheese on top. <laughs> It's like that shredded beef, that nice barbacoa beef. And then the esquites, just the corn, but it's got the cotilla cheese and some spices on it. Yeah. Really good flavor. It's good stuff. That's delicious. That's always that's always a winner. That one keeps coming back to the festival, but it's a good one. Mm -hmm. So at the Citrus Blossom, you can get a beer flight, and it includes a trio of three beers, um, but one of them is the Citrus Cream Ale. I love this beer. It's, it's so nice and light. It has a little hint of citrus flavor, but really nice, nice, easy drinking beer. They have a sour, a sour ale, which is why I didn't do the, the, yeah. <laughs> the flight. Because that one is a really sour beer, but I like, I like this one. <laughs> Stop at our, well, my favorite place, I think. <laughs> Get the school bread. There it is. <laughs> at the Kringla Bakery, we picked up some school bread. This is amazing. Nice kind of like fresh bread baked with cream inside and toasted coconut. We're plate, we're splitting. You also got some of the, you also got some of the rice cream. This is the, like a rice pudding and with, with strawberries on top. Henry loves this. Got a, this is a cinnamon roll, but it looks like it comes in picky shapes. Cute. <laughs> How detailed. They are so cool. And the kids have rediscovered Kid Cot on our world tour and they are all about it. So we started doing it in Germany. They also really love these pin boards. They love to pin trade. I think that's just the coolest thing. And they also love to color. It's one of the great things they do at Epcot for the little guys. It makes it really fun for them. So, and it makes it fun for us because we like seeing the seeing the countries and the different pavilions. Italy is definitely one of the coolest. But we really like all of them. Germany, Italy, France, all of them are really cool. And we especially like the flower and garden when they have the topiaries. We stopped in the France Pavilion at the food booth, festival food booth, to get the the creme brulee beignet. This is delicious. This is a repeat from previous festivals. Always so good. As well as a citron slush. You can get this over here, just to, just next to the France Pavilion, in the little kind of in the little booth. That's one wonderful slushies. One of our regular favorites, the beignet in the France Pavilion. Oh. Look inside, you can see the cream on the inside. Oh, yeah. And they they must torch the outside or or put it under the broiler or something because it gives it that kind of creme brulee-esque, mm -hmm. like crispy, like crunch. Oh, so good. With that crisp, hey, hey, caramelized sugar crust. Oh, look behind you, it's Princess Aurora. Oh my. 
So we made it to two o'clock, did our lap around the world showcase, did a lot of shopping and ate at some food booths and now we're ready for a break. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel, which I recommend in the summer. Kids are about ready to pass out anyway. So we'll see you again this evening. And we have beer garden and then we'll do some more, sh more shopping probably around the world showcase. See what else, maybe do the fireworks. And then we have a extended evening tonight. So. Summer, the clouds have appeared. So we finished our nice dinner, We're waiting for the extended evening hours to come. And we've missed the rain this, so far this whole trip, but right now, before it starts, they're kind of around. So far, it's just lightning raining, but there is lightning around. So they closed test track and a few other things. We're trying to get inside the pyramid. Caballeros is always a family favorite. We wanted to do that anyway. That was good. Let's see if we can dodge the rain. Well, the kids got to do Kid Cot, so. All right, did you get another Kid Cot, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Get another Kid Cot? Yep. Yep. 
<laughs> Checking those off at least. Yep. <laughs> Henry is ready to just run out into the rain. He does not care. Les invités pour le dîner. Yes, what a beer! Hein? On n'aurait pas aidé à Coco Vin? Non. Un simple, un hein, win? Too simple. Voilà. Mais oui, that's it!
200 right in front of the ball. Awesome. So we were able to do Remy's with pretty much no weight, like a 10 minute wait. So that, was, that worked out, if nothing else, for this extended evening. We're hoping to be able to get on test track. The storm is still kind of kind of around. It's just like every once in a while you feel a little sprinkled, but there's still lightning around. And it said it was down, and then it was up, and then it was down. And, but I still hear test track running, so let's. this is a good test to see if, if it'll still run, even if there's kind of storms around. We're hoping so, because Emma's never ridden it before. Designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Technology disengaged. Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test. Go test. Energizing for power test. they were shutting down for weather but then it was only like five minutes later that they came on and said that they were gonna let us try it so that was great fortunately a lot of people left i feel bad for them but it was awesome did it's, you like it emma yeah and it stopped raining and it stopped raining we came out and now it's not even raining so this is a really great day so i always say the extended evening is definitely a great perk it's the best perk that they do every time we done it it's worked out really well been able to just wait for those big rides until this evening time and then pretty much walk right on and then just do do the other stuff during the day so you don't have to wait in long lines yeah so it's a great day wasn't it Emma? Uh -huh. yeah worked out really well yeah, so thanks for joining us and what do they need to do emma make sure to like and subscribe all right spaceship earth is always so pretty love these little lights they put on there <laughs> 